Backstage with Johnny Hendricks. Johnny, you've had a, f a few moments to cool down a little bit after the fight. You've been backstage for a little while. What immediately is going through your mind? New welterweight champion. I'm still standing. I have been standing. Uh, do I look like I got in a fight? Not really, right? I've pretty much controlled everything that GSP, they thought GSP was going to control on me. I did to him. I took him down. Out jabbed him. I landed hoarder shots. He did a couple of check hooks on me, which were nice. You know, there's something I got to learn, something I need to get better. Maybe I just need to trust him more. I don't know. Uh, I'll be back. You know, I just beat the pound for pound supposedly best fighter in the world, and I smashed him first try. So guess what? All you other 70-pounders, that's actually my belt, and I will get it, and that's going to be my title one day. Good Lord willing. Do you feel like you would have fought differently knowing the scores going into the fifth round, knowing the way some judges already had it? Uh, no, I couldn't. You know, uh, I, I laid everything out in line. The fifth round uh, was a little weird, but he didn't take, you know, he took me down. I got right back to my feet. You know, I knew that he was going to be trying to do something. Uh, so what I was trying to do is just trying to control, control, control. Uh, and <laughs> I thought I smashed him the first four rounds, you know. I was landing. I, the first round, he was already cut. The third round, he was bloody and blue. Fourth round, I took him down and grounded pounded, I don't know what, a minute, something like that. Uh, and besides the first round and the fifth round, those are the only two times he got a takedown. But on the feet, I, I won everywhere. I absolutely won this fight. And some people took it away from me. And I'm not going to have that happen again, I swear. Well, he also made an announcement that greatly affects you as well, him saying he's going to go away for a while. I mean, when you hear that, I don't care. what do you think? I don't care about that. I don't care about GSP. I just smashed him. Why do I care about him? I want that thing that he carries around. That's the whole thing I've been fighting for this whole time is that belt. That belt should be coming home with me, but it's not. Well, essentially, you could be fighting for the belt again in your next fight if he decides that he's done. You could be fighting somebody for that welterweight strap. Is that what you're looking towards? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because obviously Dana White uh, and uh, the Fatita brothers and everybody in the world knew that I didn't lose that fight. I don't know what everybody else was watching, but they know I won that fight. They know I controlled it. I did everything right. I don't know how much better I could have fought him. I knew that he was going to be a challenge. And my first time facing him, I beat him. And they ripped my heart out, you know. Um, it sucks, but <clears throat> go home, get better. I don't know, uh, you know, uh, don't really know how much better I can get, but that's the mystery. Now, I knew I won the belt. Uh, I just didn't impress those three. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and gosh, dang it, that sucks. You know, to have something like that happen to you. You know, Dana White says it all the time. Don't leave it into their hands. Uh, but you know, there's sometimes you have to, and. You know, it's, yeah. we're all human, you know, and, you know, I just got to suck it up and freaking come back better, uh, stronger, so that way next time this isn't going to happen. All right, let's end this thing on a positive <laughs> note. There were a lot of orange shirts in the crowd tonight, lots of people cheering your name. You've got a very strong fan base, and you won over a ton of people tonight. Is there anything you'd like to say to all those fans who support Johnny Hendricks? Yeah, thank you, guys. God bless you guys. Thank you all for coming out. Um, I put on a show for you guys. I thought I won, but good Lord's had other plans for me. I got to learn something. I got to do something. I don't know what it is just yet, but that's what I'm going to do is uh, go back to the drawing board, get stronger, get better. I I, I, outst I was way stronger than him. Uh, <laughs> that's, God, it just sucks. You know, I'm, I'm so devastated. You know, three and a half months just ripped out of your chest, you know, in 25 minutes. Or actually in two seconds. <laughs> so, it, you know what? Uh, let's end this on a great note. It was a great night. Wonderful fights. You know, I've been better. I was very blessed to be on this card. Uh, so, I think Dana White and I think Lorenzo's, uh, the Tatita brothers, excuse me, um, for allowing me to headline this fight. Uh, even though it didn't go the way I wanted it to, uh, I will get better and I will get that belt. Always so classy, Johnny. So Such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts with us. Thank you.